The member for Canning. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to address the cost of living crisis at home and across the country. Now, it's clear that Australians are facing financial pressures, with families and businesses struggling to cope with the rising costs caused by this government. The Prime Minister promised over and over again that Australians would be better off under a Labor government. Well, we're still waiting for this Labor utopia to emerge. Instead, families and businesses are facing the highest interest rates since 2011. They're struggling with the skyrocketing costs of food, electricity, gas, mortgages, school costs, insurance and rent. And people are have, having to make tough decisions about their budgets, fuel versus food, whether to keep up with their private health cover and whether they can take that holiday later in the year. I know many hardworking families and businesses who are digging into their savings just to make ends meet. And young Australians are among the hardest hit. Last year, more than 3 million people were hit with a 7.1 per cent hike in their student loans, thanks to Labor's exploding inflation. Hex debts are forecast to increase by 15 per cent. And it's harder for Australians to save for a house deposit. The Australian dream of owning a home is slipping further away for future generations. And I feel young Australians' frustrations. We want to buy a home, we want to start a family. I understand that and it's a growing frustration that needs to be resolved uh, by this parliament and this government. I also know there's a lack of affordable housing options and rising rental costs that are pushing people to homelessness. There are people in my community with good jobs relying on food banks. Some are seeking refuge in makeshift tent communities. We have kids living in tents and caravan parks. And this is a disgrace. WA Labor's underinvestment in public housing means waiting lists are growing longer, continuing the cycle of housing insecurity. Instead of obsessing over pet projects like the failed voice referendum, the Prime Minister and WA Labor should be focused on easing everyday pressures for all Australians. But people in my electorate know the truth. Labor will not fight for canning. Important projects in my region have been scrapped by Labor. The upgrade of the Pill Health Campus is barely even on the drawing board. And recent Productivity Commission data revealed that Western Australia is the worst in the nation when it comes to seeing urgent patients on time. Ambulance ramping has exploded 1,500 per cent since WA Labor was elected seven years ago. Labor's health care record in WA is nothing less than a disaster. And it's worse as well on the roads. In my community, in the proud historic town of Pinjarra, it's a beautiful place, uh, there's a danger that runs right through the town centre every single day. More than 700 heavy hauling trucks thunder through Pinjarra, some carrying large loads of jarra wood and also uh, resources and equipment to be used in the mining sector, which uh, many of my constituents have jobs with. And as our region continues to grow, that number will rise. But back in 2017, 84% of the Shire and Murray's electors voted yes in a referendum for a deviation, which would divert hundreds of trucks away from the centre of town each day. And with their support, I secured $200 million from the former coalition government for the Pinjarra heavy haulage deviation. But just over a year ago, in a stunning betrayal, Labor slammed the brakes on this project. Shame. Labor promised it, then they delayed it, and then, after putting it, putting it on the back burner for a year, they axed it altogether. And, Deputy Speaker, you're a regional representative. You understand how important roads are. It was a real kick in the guts for our people in the Pinjarra. Now, talking to everyday Australians is something the Prime Minister does not do. It's something that the state Labor, EP, state Labor MPs in my regions, the member for Mandra, the member for Dawesville and the member for Murray-Wellington, have stopped doing. If they did, they would be alarmed at what they would be hearing from people. Labor has forgotten what matters to Australians. The people in my community did not ask to be belted with Labor's cost of living and housing crisis. They did not, offer, they did not ask to suffer under a broken health system. Labor does not listen and it does not fight. And so I guarantee my constituents, the people of Canning this, and I understand uh, the member for Tangney is a member of my constituency. The Liberal Party is fighting for you, member for Tangney. Peter Dutton is fighting for you, and I'm fighting every day to put you front and centre. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.